Everybody has done me wrong, especially the partners I've been involved with. Poor me. When you accuse me of being abusive, you are joining the parade of people who have been cruel and unfair to me. It proves you're just like the rest. It's justifiable for me to do to you whatever I feel you are doing to me, and even to make it quite a bit worse to make sure you get the message. If you complain of mistreatment or sexual harassment, you are against my gender and out for blood. I've had it so hard that I'm not responsible for my actions. Strength and aggressiveness are good. Compassion and conflict resolution are bad. Anything that could be remotely associated with homosexuality or lesbianism, including walking away from possible violence or showing any fear or grief, has to be avoided at any cost. Femininity which I associate with homosexuality are inferior. You will serve me, I will protect you. You should never hit your partner. However, exceptions to this rule can be made for my own partner if their behavior is bad enough. Partners need to be kept in line. You are a thing that belongs to me, akin to a troopie. It's your job to do things for me, including taking care of my responsibilities if I drop the ball on them. If I am unhappy about any aspect of my life, whether it has to do with our relationship or not, it's your fault. You should not place demands on me at all. You should be grateful for whatever I choose to give. I am above criticism. I am a very loving and giving partner. You're lucky to have me. You are crazy. You fly off the handle over nothing. I can easily convince other people that you're the one who is messed up. As long as I'm calm, you can't call anything I do abusive, no matter how cruel. I know exactly how to get under your skin. I am not responsible for my actions because of my psychological substance problems. If you challenge me about my abusiveness, you're being mean to me, considering these are the problems I have. It also shows that you don't understand my other problems. I'm not abusive, I'm just a substance abuser, or manic depressive, or an adult child of alcoholics, or whatever my condition may be. If you challenge me, it will trigger my addiction or mental illness, and you'll be responsible for what I do. You should be in awe of my intelligence, and should look up to me intellectually. I know better than you do, even about what's good for you. Your opinions aren't worth listening to carefully, or taking seriously. The fact that you sometimes disagree with me shows how sloppy your thinking is. If you would just accept that I know what's right, our relationship would go much better. Your own life would go better, too. When you disagree with me about something, no matter how respectfully or meekly, that's mistreatment of me. If I put you down for long enough, someday you'll see. You were put on this earth to have sex. Especially with me. If you want sex, you are too loose, and if you refuse sex, you are too uptight. It's not my fault that they find me irresistible. It's not fair to expect me to refuse temptation when it's all around me. I get seduced sometimes, and I can't help it. If you act like you need anything from me, I am going to ignore you. I'm in this relationship when it's convenient for me, and when I feel like it. Those who want the non-sexual aspects of themselves appreciated are bitches or bastards. If you could meet my sexual needs, I wouldn't have to turn to others. I need to control your every move, or you will do it wrong. I know the exact way everything should be done. You shouldn't have anyone else, or anything else in your life, except me. I am going to watch you like a hawk to keep you from developing strength or independence. I love you more than anyone else in the world, but you disgust me. You have no right to defy me or leave me. Your life is in my hands. You're evil, and you have to be kept, terrorized to prevent that evil from coming forth. I would rather die than accept your right to independence. The children are one of the best tools I can use to make you fearful. Seeing you terrified is exciting and satisfying. I'm against the macho stereotype, so I couldn't be abusive. 
As long as I use a lot of psychobabble, no one is going to believe that I am mistreating you. I can control you by analyzing how your mind and emotions work, and what your issues are from childhood. I can get inside your head whether you want me there or not. Nothing in the world is more important than my feelings. You should be grateful to me for not being like those other partners.